Hey guys, Mikey here with Tati California. Thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, wish I had better news, and yet again, here I am bringing bad news from the state of California. Who would have guessed, right? Well, if you haven't watched the Gunpocalypse video, I'll leave a link down in the description box below where I list some very specific bills that were going to Jerry Brown's desk. Now, Jerry Brown is our governor here in the state of California, and he has officially signed many of them, the worst of them. Some people are saying, well, he signed half and he vetoed half. Well, half the ones he vetoed, who gives a rip? It wasn't going to affect anybody. Uh, but... But uh, I will say this, I'll start off with some good news. The 80% receivers not being firearms. Thanks, Jerry Brown. I actually really appreciate you vetoing that one. I like 80s. I have 80s. And I like the fact that I don't have to register them as, as firearms. And that even just having an 80% receiver or even kind of a mysterious block of aluminum could be construed somehow as a receiver or as a firearm. I didn't like that at all. So I'm really thankful that Jerry Brown vetoed that one. So thanks Jerry Brown for vetoing that one. The other ones, who cares? I am very upset with you, Jerry Brown, for signing what you did sign, okay? Uh, for those of you who don't know, the ones that he did sign that are going to be in effect as of 2017 are the uh, AR-15 or bullet button featured rifles. Those are all gonna be illegal as of 2017. If you have a bullet button equipped featured AR-15 or any rifle, AK, Tavor, Vector, whatever it is that requires a bullet button here in the state of California, you need to register that prior to January 1st of 2017 with the state as an assault weapon, okay? Just because it's registered in your name now does not mean it's registered as an assault weapon. It is currently registered as a rifle, probably a semi-automatic rifle or a carbine, but it needs to be re-registered. What does that mean? Where do you go to do that? I don't know. That might have something to do with the fact that I don't care and I'm not gonna comply, but you do as you will, okay? This is ridiculous. I'm drawing the line in the sand. I am a United States citizen who is guaranteed rights by my Bill of Rights. I have rights. Just because the state of California says I don't have them doesn't mean I don't have them. The state of California can call a peanut butter and jelly sandwich a bologna sandwich. And I know it's still a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can call it whatever you want. Call it bologna. Call it ham. Call it turkey. I don't care. I know it's peanut butter and jelly. And I'm not going to sit here and say that it's something else when it's not. You cannot take away my rights. I'm not saying that in some like mean, violent way. You can't take away my rights and I'm pissed and I'm shaking my fist. No, I'm saying you actually can't. You factually can't. You legally can't. Whatever you're putting into law that is against the, the Constitution of the United States doesn't work. It's not a law that can be followed. I can't violate my United States citizenry in order to comply with the state of California. I can't. Uh, even if I wanted to, I can't. It doesn't matter to me. I will not be registering firearms as assault weapons. I'll be looking for workarounds. Uh, the bullet button reloaded is an option. Um, I may talk about in a future video. You guys can look it up if you want, but uh, the people who make the bullet button are already coming up with a new thing that'll probably end up working by 2017 uh, for most AR-15 issues. So yeah, I'm upset about it, but that is what it is. Uh, I don't think AR-15s are gonna go the way of the dodo in the state of California. Uh, however, the way they are currently configured will be illegal come 2017. A standard bullet button AR-15 will be illegal January 1st, 2017. You will not find them for sale uh, in gun stores. You will not be able to transfer them. They'll just be illegal. Now, for whatever reason, I have customers coming into my store telling me that they need to get this CZ-75 and they need to get this Nighthawk Custom GRP or whatever it is, this handgun they've been waiting to get because somehow the misinformation got out there that pistols will also be considered assault weapons. That's not true, okay guys? Uh, what, what was written in the bill, if you, look, if you read it closely, is featured pistols. Pistols with one or more of the following features, a pistol grip, a flash hider, threaded barrel, um, stuff like that. Those are, those are features. Those, are, those need to be registered as assault weapons because they need a bullet button anyway. That's what they were trying to cover their, their tushies on. It wasn't, uh, oh, let's get rid of all handguns. It was, hey, let's get the AR-15 out of here, right? So they, the standard AR-15s, like the regular 16-inch ones, like you see I have and other people have, those ones are the rifles, and this is a pistol, but it's still an AR-15, so they're just covering their tushies. They wanna make sure that the AR-15 pistols are also illegal, also assault weapons, and also banned in the state of California come 2017 in their current configuration.
Now, above and beyond the AR-15 bullet button ban thing going on in the state of California, what bothers me more, and what I think is more dangerous to the state of California, as well as the rest of the United States, is definitely the ammunition registry. Come July 2018, I believe that's the date they've set, you will have to enter into a database. You will have to become a registered ammunition purchaser. Even if you don't own firearms and you legally want to purchase ammunition, you're gonna to have to enter a database. You're gonna pass a background check. You're obviously gonna get money out of you because this is the state of California and that's what their, their goal ultimately is, is to get money. And then you will have every round that you purchase counted and entered into a database. What, well, why is this bad? Well, in case you don't know, uh, that's not gonna help criminals stop doing what they're doing. We know that criminals are already breaking laws, hence the name criminals, right? So stacking laws like this really don't matter. Uh, if you're gonna, if you're thinking, well, I'll just go out of state, I'll go to Arizona, Nevada, Washington, Oregon, wherever, and I'm gonna purchase ammunition there and then I'm gonna bring it in. That's illegal. They don't want you importing ammunition without going through this registry. So that will be considered illegal, okay? You have to go through an authorized vendor to purchase ammunition legally in the state of California. What does that mean for us? That means prices of ammunition are gonna go up. Why? Well, first of all, you're not gonna be able to get it online anymore. As far as I can tell, no uh, self-respecting ammunition dealer online is gonna submit themselves to this stuff for California. They're just not. The dealers like myself, uh, <clears throat> the store I work at, VC Defense and Turner's and, and, and Cabela's and all that kind of stuff, all these people are going to have to pay the state to become one of the approved authorized vendors, okay? So we're gonna have to pay money. What does that mean? The cost of ammunition is gonna go up. That cost gets passed to you somewhere. I can't eat that cost. Cabela's can't eat that cost. Turner's can't eat that cost. Stores can't eat these costs and stay in business. That's not how business works. So the cost gets passed to the consumer. So prices will go up in ammunition. What else is gonna happen? Well, because of the massive demand for having ammunition in stores and everyone having to go to the authorized stores to sell ammunition, the inventory is gonna go down, which means the since the demand's high and inventory is low, Cost's gonna go up again. My prediction is that in late 2018, we're gonna see a lot of skyrocketing prices of ammunition. What do I recommend you do? Well, if, if you just wanna do the simplest thing, start stocking up on ammo now. You've got over a year, <clears throat> probably a year and a half, if you buy 500 rounds a month of whatever caliber it is, you're probably gonna have a lot by the time you uh, you, you get to uh, 2018, mid 2018. Um, if you, if you wanna do more, this is what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna get into reloading. I'm gonna get some reloading supplies, I'm gonna get some gunpowder, some bullets, some shells. That way I can save on costs. I don't know if reloading supplies are gonna to have to go through authorized vendors as well, but I do know that the cost of reloading supplies is cheaper than ammunition, and there's a much uh, uh, a significantly lower demand for reloading supplies as opposed to just ready to go ammunition. Now there's more that Governor Brown signed, but that's pretty much the ones that uh, everyone's really talking about right now that people are really up in arms about. The state of California broke its own rules putting these things uh, into effect. They skipped committees, primarily uh, committees that were gonna see the financial impact of these bills being implemented. They just skipped those committees in order to get them on the desk of Governor Brown before he left for vacation. So he, he didn't, uh, to the best of my knowledge, it might have been a business day that they were on his desk before he signed everything he wanted to sign and vetoed everything he wanted to veto. This did not give us ample time to express our discontent and our absolute opposition to this. This did not give us ample time to express to Jerry Brown that we the people, the sovereign of, this, of the United States, in case you guys don't know that, uh, you are the sovereign. That's the way our, our founding fathers envisioned it that's the way they built it. It's not just their worldview. That's how our government currently is supposed to function. There are laws in place, checks in place to make sure that happens. You, the people, we, the people, we are the sovereign. We are the kings. We are the ones who say what goes and what doesn't go. We are the ones who demand people get booted out of office when they do stupid stuff like this. And we need to start speaking up. Join the Firearm Policy Coalition, join the NRA, do whatever you have to do, march to the Capitol peacefully and express your opposition. Do whatever it is you have to do to express that you are the sovereign, which is truth. 
That is the truth in the United States. You are the sovereign. You are the one who says what, what happens and what doesn't happen. And that these corrupt politicians need to be absolutely removed from office. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos we got coming your way on gun reviews and California laws. I'm Michael with Tactic California. Thanks for watching. <laughs>